Welcome to Edric Storytime. Today, I'm going to read The Tall Bridge Troll. Let's begin. The Tall Bridge Troll by Patricia Ray Wolf, illustrated by Kimberly Bulkin Root. Today was the first day of school and Trig didn't want to be late. He gobbled his breakfast, grabbed his books, and gave his mother a goodbye kiss. Have a good day, she said, and be careful of the troll. Yes, mother, said Trig. Trig walked across the field, up the big hill, and down the long road. When he came to the little bridge, he stopped and looked around. Just as Trig stepped onto the rickety wooden bridge, a terrible, ugly troll jumped up from beneath it. This is my bridge, the troll snarled. But I have to cross the bridge to go to school, Trig said. Why? the troll asked. So I can get smart. That's not a good reason, the troll said. I have to go to school because my mother said so, Trig said. Oh, said the troll. That's a good reason. Trig started across the bridge. Wait, the troll said, jumping in front of Trig. This is my tall bridge. You have to pay a penny to go across. Trig thought for a minute. He couldn't pay a penny every day to go to school. He would just have to trick the troll. I have an idea, Trig said. We'll ask a riddle. If you answer the riddle, I won't cross your bridge. But if I answer the riddle, I get to cross for free today. Oh, goody, the troll said, jumping up and down. I like riddles. Here's the riddle, Trick said. Why does a giraffe have such a long neck? The tall bridge troll hunched down into a thinking crouch. He crunched his face into a thinking frown. Think, 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 think. After a long time, the troll asked, What's a giraffe? A giraffe is an animal with a long neck, Trig said. Oh! The troll hunched back into his thinking crouch. Think, think, think! I give up, the troll said finally. Why does a giraffe have such a long neck? Because his head is so far away from his body, Trig said. I win, I get to cost for free today. The tall bridge troll stamped his feet, he shook his fists, and made awful, angry troll noises. But he let Trig cross the bridge. That worked well. Trig thought, I'll need many more tricky ideas if I'm going to cross the bridge every day without paying. After school, the tall bridge troll was waiting for Trig. My mother lives under this bridge too, the troll told Trig. She heard your riddle, and she said you tricked me. She said I was supposed to ask the riddle. Trig just smiled and quickly crossed the bridge. As he ran for home, he stumbled over a hole in the road. That gave him an idea. The next day, Trig's mother kissed him goodbye. Have a good day and be careful of the troll, she said. Yes, mother, said Trig. He walked across the field, up the big hill, and down the long road to the bridge. As Trig stepped onto the bridge, the troll jumped out, looking more terrible than ever. This is my bridge, the troll snarled. Not again, Trig thought. But I have to cross the bridge to go to school, Trig said. Why? So I can get smart. That's not a good reason. I have to go to school because my mother said so, Trig said. Oh, said the troll. That's a good reason. Trig started across the bridge. Wait, the tall bridge troll said, and again jumped in front of Trig. This is my tall bridge. You have to pay a penny to go across. Trig pretended to look for money in his pocket. I don't have a penny, Trig said, but I have an idea. Let's ask another riddle. If I answer it, I cross your bridge for free. Okay, said the troll, but today I asked the riddle. He hunched into a thinking crouch. He crunched his face into a thinking frown. Think, 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 think. 
After a long time, the troll said, I don't know any riddles. I know one you can use, Drake said. He whispered it into the troll's ear. Oh, that's a good one. How much dirt can you take out of a hole three feet wide and three feet deep? The troll asked. Drake pretended to think. That's a hard one, he said. I win, I win, the troll shouted. He jumped up and down. No, wait, Drake said. Now I remember. The answer is none. There is no dirt in a hole. The troll stamped his feet. He shook his fists and made awful, angry troll noises. I hope I don't run out of riddles, Drake thought as he ran across the bridge. After school, the troll was waiting for Drake. My mother said, you tricked me again, the troll said. She said you knew the answer when you told me the riddle to use. Could be, Trig said, quickly crossing the bridge. As he ran for home, he spied two coins lying in the dirt on the road ahead. That gave him an idea. The next day, Trig's mother kissed him goodbye, told him to have a good day, and warned him to watch out for the troll. Yes, mother, Trig said. Trick could see the troll waiting for him, looking more ugly than ever. This is my bridge, the troll snarled. Trick took a deep breath. But I have to cross the bridge to go to school to get smart because my mother said so, he said. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. Trick started across the bridge. Wait, the troll said. This is my tall bridge. You have to pay a penny to go across. Trig sighed. I have another idea. No more riddles, the troll said. My mother's mad at me because of your riddles. No riddles, Trig said. He reached into his pocket. I have six cents, he told the tall bridge troll. If you can guess what kinds of coins they are, I'll give them all to you. I'll even tell you how many coins I have to make the six cents. It's a deal. My mother's going to be proud of me this time, the troll said. I'm good at money. I have two coins, Trick said, and one of them isn't a nickel. You have six cents with only two coins, and one of them isn't a nickel, the troll repeated. Right. The tall bridge troll hunched into his thinking crouch. He crunched his face into his thinking frown. Dink, 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 dink. I give up, the troll said after a long while. Trick opened his hand. There was one nickel and one penny. But you said one of them wasn't a nickel, the troll said. Right, said Trick. He picked up the penny and held it up. This one isn't a nickel. Trig ran across the bridge. After school, the troll was waiting for Trig. My mother said you tricked me again, the troll said. Trig just smiled. Do you know what else my mother said? What? asked Trig. She said tomorrow I have to go to school with you so I can get smart. Walk to school each day with a terrible, ugly troll? Oh well, Trig thought with a sigh. At least I won't have to pay the toll. The end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel.